Okay then, so we're finally getting towards the end of this tutorial series, but before we start styling this up, I want to show you one more little bit of functionality. Because right now, if we go to the home page without articles being there, then we're still getting this really crappy home page at the minute. And uh, this isn't very good, not a good first impression. So ideally, what I'd like to do is for this URL to take us or show us this content, right? So we need to change our root URLs and they're stored in this Django Nautic folder right here. So let's close this down and open up this URLs file right here. So at the minute, you can see that this thing right here, this root URL is taking us to this homepage view, which is returning, if we open up views, this thing right here, this homepage.html that we made right at the start of this series. Now, we don't want to do this anymore. Instead, what we want to do is show this page right here, this article list page. So to do that, how are we going to approach this? Well, you might think that we go into the views over here and instead we render the other template for this thing. But actually, we don't need to do that. Instead, what we can do is just change this thing right here so that it doesn't use this home page view, but instead uses a view from our articles app, which is this thing right here, the article list, right? So that when someone goes to forward slash nothing or just the root URL, it fires this view right here. Does that make sense? So how are we going to fire that view? Well, first of all, we need to import it. So we do that by saying from then articles, which is the articles app right here. And we want to import the views from that app. Now, there's a problem here because we're already importing views right here from the current directory, these things. Now, we can't do both like that because that will confuse Django. It won't know which view is which, right? So what we can say is import views as article views. So now we're importing the views, but in this file, we're naming that article underscore view so that it doesn't get confused with this thing up here. So now we can say instead of views.homepage, when you go to this URL, this root one right here, instead we want article underscore views and that's dot article and I think it's list. Yep, article list. Now let's also give this URL a name which is going to be equal to home. So let's save that. And now I want to set it up so that when you click on this, it takes you to the home page. But instead of that, first of all, let's just check that this has worked. So we're going to the root domain right here, just forward slash press enter and it takes us here. So now this is the home page as well. Awesome. Now, when we click on this, instead of it going to forward slash articles, let's just take it back to the home page because it does the same thing now. So in our base template or our base layout right there, this is where we have the H1, the logo, and it's going to articles list at the minute. But instead of that, we can just type in home because that is what we called this URL right here. So now it's going to fire this thing, which fires the same view and sends us the same template. So let's save it and make sure this works. I'll go to a different page first of all, then click on the logo and it takes us to the home page. Awesome. So there we go. Dead quick. Just one last little bit of functionality I wanted to show you before we go ahead in the next tutorial and start styling this application up.